uh, let me start again because we are recording so so we can start from the beginning okay. we welcome all of you once again Hello. and it's wonderful that you have desired to learn god's word and it is for our personal growth and also to teach God's word to others. Uh, let's have a word of prayer. Pastor, would you kindly lead us in prayer? Okay. A papier shin kuro in a mother meko chimon by the ni Global Mission Bible College ne Tatia Jing Mio Akan. Ah, then you Naibuya and Dwek Kuro Shin Pia. A chain me up in St. Peter John Jiu Dembare, Dr. Charles Yet, then don't don't then chain, the Majana Nire, John to John Damia, how long, Goroshim Pia, Big Daily, County Viva, Sales, Otitia, Topasi, County Viva, or Guroy Langando, Tayo, Chepimbu, and Totarogan, Guroy no Copatia, or Mia Gutayo, Nation Nale, Nabu, and Dolagan, Goroshim Pia, County Pia, Pusan Peter Naro Muba. Jiro do Jiju do go chimwa le Jisu na mana Jisu kaun se katcha badi apa pia dekhe. Amen. Amen. Beautiful prayer. Burmese language is very beautiful language. Hello. Yes. I said Burmese language is a very beautiful language. Oh, yeah. No, We thank God for all of you. So we were talking about the Bible, God's amazing word. Last time, we were talking about how can I believe that the Bible is true? We learned that Bible is, uh, Bible speak honestly about its heroes. And if, and if someone speak honestly, we can trust that person. And since the Bible speak honestly, we can trust the word of God. So, no kapat tiyaro ne pati jan sa ka pumpul lele, no? Pyo tha de to cha mo jino, lwe gu swa, si cha a kulo ya ne? Bible speak honestly about its heroes, like uh, 
sins of Abraham, Noah, David, Samson. Abraham, Moses, then we learn that God preserved his word. Then we learn that the Bible has an amazing order. Bible has an amazing unity. It was written by 40 different authors during the period of 1600 years in different places until the word of God is one. It has amazing unity. We learn that the first book of the Bible related is related to the last book of the Bible. You remember that? I said, first, in the first book of the Bible, God created heaven and earth. And in the last book of the Bible, we find God is going to create the new heaven and new earth. Isn't that, isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Yes. Amen. Mm. Amen. Hallelujah. Today we are going to learn that the Bible is open to scrutiny. The Bible is open to the examination. Uh, many people many people don't like when their religious book is challenged when we start to examine their religious books but we can check the historical reliability of the word of God. Some books are written by just one person. 
吐槽语什么是？你有必要干嘛 ？I'm talking about the religious uh, people. One prophet or religious leader wrote that book. Tamajan sahab bane tachya acharo baatari shoshan turo ma shire jan sahab ponsa turo dolu de sa. No tiao thega bhai yeh aapi the. Maybe some of you have gone to the college or university. Um, the chu. ခင်ဗျားတို့ထဲမှာလည်းဖြစ်နိုင်တယ်ဖြစ်ချို့လူတွေဆိုတော့ခြင်းကောင်းလေးတော့တက္ကသိုလ်ကြောင်းတို့
there were people group called Hittite. And they are mentioned in the Bible. And for many years, the historian said, Oh, there is no place called Hittite. There is no people group called Hittite. Cool. But then in 1876, archaeologists found that place. Mm. This is a place in Hattush, and the people living there, Hittite, is the place or was the place in Turkey. You see here? So we can check if the Bible is historically true or not, and through archaeology, if it's true or not. So archaeology should what about the reality of the resurrection of Jesus Christ? We Christian people believe that Jesus died for our sin on the cross. And he was buried. And he rose again on the third day. Now we find we find that in the word of God we find in the four gospel we find in the book of Acts we find in uh, the entire New Testament we find that in uh, the last book of the Bible, Revelation, Jesus said that I'm alive. I was dead and behold, I'm alive. But that's what the Bible says. Do we have other references that tell us about the life of Jesus Christ? about the death and crucifixion of Jesus Christ. 
Chris Do Yes, we have historical fact. In the Jewish Talmud, we find about the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Jewish historian called Josephus, Flavius Josephus wrote about Jesus Christ, his death and resurrection. Roman historian wrote about the death and crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. Greek historian wrote about the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus Christ. And friends, they were not uh, Christian. They were the enemy of the cross. They were the enemy of Christianity. Think about, think about it. He wrote about Jesus Christ. That's why I can trust the Bible. This is not the story we have made. People like to make stories about their religious leader. But we don't make like that. We check the historical validity, reliability, historical fact, if it's true or not. So through archaeology and through history, we can check if the Bible is true or not. Then science prove the truth of the Bible. For example, it was believed long time ago that the earth is flat. Um, but we know that the earth is round. And we find that in Isaiah chapter 40 and verse number 22.
let me read that in uh, English and then we will read that in Burmese. The Bible says it is he who sit above the circle of the earth and its inhabitants are like the grasshopper who stretches out the heaven like a curtain and spread them out like a tent to dwell in. Isaiah 40 and what's number 22? What does it say in your language? What do we learn about the earth? T twenty two. มีจีนเนี่ยมูกองเกนี่อัธนัยสิดอปะเลนอปอเลยซันเปโรมูกองเกนี่อัธนัยสิดอปะเลนอปอเลยซันเปโรมูกองเกนี่อัธนัยสิ
earth and the heaven. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, but you know, I, I did it. My Bible here says he is his being enthroned above the circle of the But here they are in the control above the art. Control above. Okay, anyhow, uh, we learn that God sit on the circle of the earth. Yes. His That's throne true. is above the circle of the earth. Right, above, above the earth. Okay. Uh, what about Job chapter 26 and what's number seven? Job, job on the six, job on the six, job on the six, job twenty-six, twenty-seven, right? Uh, twenty-six, and what's number seven? The county, the six, job on the six, job on the Straight up. <laughs> okay, chapter 26, and what's number seven? In the English yeah. Bible, it says, He stretches out the north over empty space, He hangs hmm. the earth on nothing. Right. Hmm. How does it say in Burmese language? Yeah, that's the same. It has the same meaning. It has the same words. Sorry? The Burmese also says that Kabami Jigul the Lord hangs the art in the atmosphere. Okay, okay, good. Uh, yeah. Good. So we know here that Earth is hanging in the space. Right. So the I I don't know what is uh, your cultural belief. But it was considered in the past that some um, strong muscular man is carrying the earth. Mm. Uh, it was also considered that 
one strong bull is carrying the earth on its horn. And when uh, one horn, he gets tired of that one horn, he switch to the other horn. And when he uh, does that, then the earthquake comes. Uh, uh, have you heard these kind of stories? Yeah, they are I never heard it. But we know that as the scientists tell us that the earth is hanging as a ball in the space. And the Bible had told this long time ago. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that wonderful or amazing? I know what's going on. No? Thank you, Jesus. The signs prove the truth of the Bible. Now, the Bible prophecy also proved the truth of the Bible. What is prophecy? What is that? Tell me, please. Pastor David, what is that? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. What is prophecy? Prophecy is the word that God wants us to speak to us. God wants us to speak to us. Yeah. God speak to us. Uh huh. And ask us to speak to others. Okay. Can we also say that prophecy is something that we talk about future? Is it right? Yeah. Right. So there are many things that were spoken 
and that happened many years after. For example, the life of Jesus. More than 500 years before Jesus' birth, it was told that Jesus will be born in Bethlehem. And do we know that Jesus was born in Bethlehem? Five hundred years before it was told Jesus will be born in Bethlehem. And the prophecy we find in Micah chapter five and verse number two. But guess what? Joseph and Mary were living in Nazareth. But it was told that Jesus will be born in Bethlehem. In the same year of Jesus' birth, Caesar Augustus asked people to go to their native city to their native town to register themselves um akho sa ani ne e sukhi do mui phwa de kho ni ma ta kha ma se ta wo ni de tu ro ye ta na tu ro ye ta ni tu ro ye yu ni da de ni ma to a mu ya de we find that reference in Luke chapter 2. Luke and the Bible says Joseph and Mary they travel to Bethlehem. Mary and they went to their native town to get registered there. And at that time, the birth of Jesus Christ took place in Bethlehem. Think about that. Think about that. Okay. Yeah, think about that. It happened exactly the way it was told more than 500 years ago. Think about that. 
It was told that Jesus will be born by a virgin. Seven hundred years before Jesus' birth, it was told that prophecy. And it happened in the same way. Excuse me? It happened in the in the way it was told. It was told that one of his friends will betray him. And it was it happened in the same way that one of the disciples of Jesus betrayed Jesus. Do you remember his name? Yes. Who betrayed Jesus? Who is that? That's right. It was told that he will go to Jerusalem riding on a donkey. Do we know it happened like that? <laughs> on Palm Sunday, Jesus went to Jerusalem riding on a donkey. It was told that Jesus will be sold for 30 pieces of silver. Sorry? It was told there please, was a prophecy that repeat. Jesus will be sold for 30 pieces of silver. Oh. Uh, uh, Do we know it happened? It happened in the same way it was told. So in your notes, I have written down all the prophecy, not all of them, but some of the prophecy that were told about Jesus and it happened exactly the way it was told. You know, 
bien. Uh, um, profe Pure y Ari Pire, piso de Ari, o chino, o guitarra de. There are many prophecies not told about the second coming of Jesus Christ. One day, Jesus is coming with his angel. And take his church, his people to heaven. We don't believe in the endless cycle of coming back, going up, coming back, going, coming back, going up. We don't believe in these kind of things. We believe that Jesus died and rose again. And now he lives forever and ever. Uh, we believe that if we die before Jesus come, our bodies will be resurrected. The graves will be open. And if we and if we are still alive, our bodies will be changed. And we will be in heaven, a beautiful place called heaven. This is our hope. This is our future. Thank you, Jesus. So the prophecy proved the truth of the Bible. Now, the Bible has power to change the lives of people. Bible has so many beautiful, um, beautiful laws. The Bible has so many beautiful teaching. Bible even teaches us love your enemies. Bible touch every area of our lives. It, it touch our personal life. It touch our family life. It touch our society. There was a tribe in the South Pacific Ocean. Uh, 
ต้องเตยกเปลี่ยนเลยต้องต้องเตยกหมต้อง and that tribe used to be uh, cannibals ไอ้นี่ปาสิตองไปมาสตัดสุข And when they heard the word of God, in this sub p e r s o n a t i o n God changed uh, their lives. I must say, ah, prayer, okay, 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 มันเซนตุรุมาเกมาตุรุเยตาลีตยอนีตยอสาจเลตุตาสาเล so one time one uh, American soldier was visiting that island แต่าเจอาเมริกันสิตาเจนีจนหัวยาว And he found out that there was a man who was reading the Bible. And that soldier asked, "Hello, friend. What are you reading?" The islander said, "I'm reading the Word of God." And that soldier was atheist. He didn't believe in God. So that soldier said to that friend, "I don't believe in the Bible anymore." But that islander said, "I really believe the word of God. It is so wonderful book." Because it changed the lives of our people. We used to be cannibal. If the Bible had not changed our lives, then you might have been in my plate this evening. Do you understand? No. Mm. The Bible, the Word of God, change have changed the lives of so many people. Even this morning, I was reading, I was doing my uh, devotion, and I was reading. That there was a father and son who were into drugs dealing. They they were in prison. In prison, they started to study the Word of God. In prison, God changed their lives. So the Word of God has changed the lives of so many people and have changed so many societies. Uh, 
And we pray that the word of God change the lives of people in your country. And I pray God would use you. I pray that God would use you in a mighty way to touch lives with the word of God. I pray that God would use you not only in Burma, but even take you to the nations of the world. Amen. Amen. God will raise a next Billy Graham from your land. God would raise a, a Catherine Kuhlman from from our sisters. Or a or a young show. That you would go under the power of the Holy Spirit. And preach the word of God. And we see that God would touch lives. Let me tell you my personal story. My father, my father was alcoholic. My father was on drugs. But my mother was always praying. One day, my mother said to my father, Why don't you come with me? to the church. My father said, I don't want to go to the church. I hate God. I just want to die. He tried to commit suicide many times. One day he went to the church. When he went to the church, he heard the word of God. When he heard the word of God, he started to cry. He said, Lord, have mercy on me. I'm a sinner. 
प्लीज फॉर गिव माई सेन एंड गॉड चेंज इज लाइफ He was so skinny because of drugs and alcohol. God restored his health. He was. He was. Okay, he was asthmatic. Sorry. He was asthmatic. He he had problem with asthma. Ah, do my this is the name of the seed. God healed him completely without using yeah, okay. any medicine. The 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 seed no no matter when it. Then he went to the Bible school. He became a pastor. Then God raised new evangelists and pastor through his ministry. Before his death, he was the leader of a big organization, and many pastors were under under his leadership. God changes life. Because Bible has power to change people's life. And as you study the Word of God. I I pray that God would use you in a powerful way to bring, uh, to 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 touch lives for the Lord. Amen. Let's pray Amen. together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for teaching us about your word. Your word is really powerful. We can believe the truth of your word. Through history, through science, through archaeology, we can check the reliability of your word. Through the fulfilled prophecy, we can check the truth of your word. And your word is alive, is powerful. It has changed the lives of so many people. 
Lutu to miam ateta pionis vidono kapato kibai. We thank you, Lord. Jesus, te mala pa. We pray that you touch my dear brothers and sister and equip them with your word and power to touch lives for you. Tamami shenya kula shen tu te deva atom pura moma. Lutu miam ateta pionis vidono. We want to see the power of the Holy Spirit in the land of Burma. We want to see a great revival in the land. People would come out of the spirit of religion and they would enter into a living relationship with God Almighty. Thank you for visiting mm. that land. Thank you for using my brothers and sisters in that land and even around the world. You take them to the nations of the world. And let your name be glorified. Let your kingdom come. I, I pronounce Aaron's prayer upon them. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May he lift up his countenance towards you and give you peace. I pray this prayer in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 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 God bless you. Amen. God bless you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Senor. Thank you. Hello. Hello, brother. Yes. Uh, I want to discuss with you about the transfer. Yes. Uh, my dear brother, the transfer is not going through. Oh. Okay. What should we do? Mm -hmm. uh, the, the person who take care of the finances, 
uh, try last week and even this week. And uh, it's not going through. Oh. What should we I do? don't know. What? Uh, what? I don't know. Uh, except for Western Union, I, I have no idea. Uh -huh. I see. Do you have another account? Um, I have account, but that's uh, only for local bank account. Uh -huh. I see. Okay, let me try one more time. Okay. We yes. try, we, mm. we use another, uh, uh, not maybe the bank, but I tell that uh, lady, if she could try, uh, not through bank, but there is another called uh, uh, transfer wise. <laughs> yes. Transfer wise, uh, so mm -hmm. this might might help. We we try, okay. and uh, I get back to you very soon. Okay. All right. Okay. And then we try to find okay find out what we can do. Okay. Lovely. Good. So God bless yes. you, my brother. Talk to you soon. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Okay. Bye. Yeah. Have a good time. God okay. bless you. Bye. Thank you very much for your teaching. Oh, God bless you. Mm. Great joy. Mm. Yeah.